Welcome back everybody and in this lesson we're going to create the destruction on the building. As you can see, um, I put a fire and smoke. It's just really easy stuff. It looks a lot but it's just easy stuff. Uh, create a card from the point and position it. And that's what I've done with all of the fire and smoke. Alright, now we're going to focus on this area. First of all, I'm going to uh, show you a, a trick for projection. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy my cam anim. I'm going to rename this my projector. Um, normally uh, what people do is they create from um, a frame and they are going to that frame and set no animation but I'm going to show you a way that I like to work with if you if you have m multiple projections and it's really fast. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, right click and manage user knobs. I'm going to add a floating point slider and I'm going to call this uh, project frame and I'm going to set my um, minimum to 1 and my maximum to 148 and I'm gonna call this my projection frame and tooltip is just I don't have to fill that in and I'm going to press OK and then it's over here and I'm going to click done so now I've got this and this is my frames so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to my translate and I'm going to set an expression uh, let me see where is that expression that is over here alright so what we are now going to do is um, you, you can see you have your X Y and Z and that's just uh, the camera information we are going to uh, make an expression so on every frame where there is an animation I'm going there is going to hold it. So what I'm going to type in is project frame and this. So I'm going to copy and put it to all my X, Y, and Z. And I'm going to do the same thing to my rotation. And in my projection tab, I'm going to do the same over here. It just is it's the best if you do it in all those blue, um, this blue, uh, I don't know how it's called, <laughs> but it's the best way to put it in all your animation tabs. So, an expression, project frame, and oh. And I'm just going to, this is the last one, and alright. So now we got our projector. And I'm going to show you how easy this works. Alright, I'm going to color this in something like uh, bluish. Alright. So now, if we go to our projector, and we are going to create a... Um, we're going to create a, how do you call that, a project 3D. Project 3D. And I'm going to plug this in my cam. And I'm going to create some, I uh, don't need this. And I'm going to create something on this section. So I'm going, just going to make a fast roto. And I have something like this. Make it gray. All right. So I created this on frame 77. So if I plug this in, and I'm gonna plug my project 3D in here, and I'm going to view it in my scan line render. It should work. Um, as you can see, it's supposed to go over here and go to your projector 
and set your uh, projection frame to 77. And here we go. Now we got our on the projection frame 77. We got our our white dot, big dot, sphere, circle thingy. So that's how easy it is. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the same thing uh, with the destruction of the building. Because we have our cylinder and our and our geometry in the right 3D space, it's really easy for us to just do whatever you want because we have our geometry, so we can create whatever you want. So on frame 100, I created um, um, a destruction matte painting in Photoshop, which I'm going to load in right now. And it's you can um, it's in your asset folder. And here we go. Gonna put this to linear. And this is our destruction. I just uh, uh, search for. I just search for um, um, holes in buildings and just do something like this in Photoshop. Really easy stuff. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to plug it in, and I am going to defocus this a little bit. I already have a mask. I'm going to load it in too, and I defocus, and I'm going to defocus it by something like uh, 0.5, because these things are way too sharp, and we, we don't want that. Oh, wrong one. All right, uh, I'm gonna feel our our uh, merge, and as you can see, this looks much better right now with the defocus on because it's not that sharp in real life, so that's why I defocus it a little bit more. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to look at my merge, and as you can see, this is not this is horrible. It's going wrong. But we did it on frame 100. We got our projector. So what are we going to do? We're going to put our frame to 100. And here we go. That's the magic of the projector. Just with a simple expression, you can do a whole lot of stuff. All right. And we got our light wrap. A little bit of a light wrap. And let me see if it helps. Uh, we don't need it actually. But it doesn't matter, you won't see it anyways. So, this is how easy it is to create this destruction in the building. And in the next lesson, we are going to create, we're going to export our camera from Nuke to Maya. And we're going to place our geometry and we're going to composite it. Alright, I'll see you in the next lesson.